Okay, we're now going to move on to tables to write linear and exponential models. Okay, let's just do a little review. Okay, remember linear is y equals mx plus b. b is the starting value. Okay, b is your starting value, that's your y-intercept, and then your m is your slope, or a lot of times with a story, it'll be the change, the change. With linear, you're going to be seeing words that mean add, okay, or subtract, and then you know it's linear. You keep adding something, adding something, okay, and then your add-subtract number, that's your change, that goes into the m spot. Now with exponential, it's y equals a times b to the x power. Okay, and here your initial, your initial, or you could say your starting value, your starting value goes right there, and then the b, the b is the thing that keeps getting multiplied, multiplied, multiplied. Okay, so that's going to be your uh, your multiply or your divide factor. And the words that you would see mean either multiply or divide. Okay, um, sometimes when it says everything's getting halved, then sometimes you use the fraction half. It means divide, but we keep multiplying by that number. Okay. Um, all right, let's take a look at this first table here. Okay, first we have to decide whether it's linear or exponential, and this is how you do that, okay? The x numbers are the numbers that get plugged in, 0, 1, 2, 3. You don't look there, okay? To decide what it is, you look, you look at the y values, okay? And let's see if we can notice a pattern. 0 represents, represents the beginning of time. So the first number, this is the starting number. Okay, 2 is the starting number. Zero time has passed and I start with 2. Okay, and then what happens? The next one is 5. Okay, that doesn't look like times by 2 to me. And the one after that is 8. And then the one after that is 11. Sometimes you have to look a couple of times, or even way down the road, 20 turns into 23. The entire time, it's the same thing happening. Okay, so I noticed I started with 2, and they added, they added 3, added 3, added 3, added 3, okay? So this is how we wrote it last week. Added 3, added 3, dot, dot, dot. Now we're looking at a chart. They're adding 3, they're adding 3. Is this linear or exponential? Definitely linear, okay? And now we're going to write the equation. y equals mx plus b, okay? The change, the thing that they keep adding, subtracting, is positive 3. So we're going to say 3x and then plus a starting value of 2, okay? Now a couple things are true about this, okay? If I put in 0, Three times zero, I get positive two. That confirms that at the beginning of time, you get two. You can check your equation. You can check your equation. I'll maybe just use my calculator here. Okay, I'm going to type three times the zero plus two. I think this is the right formula. I'm going to plug in a zero, and I hope that the answer that spits out is two. Perfect. Okay, how do you say repeat what I just typed? Second, enter. Second, enter brings it back, and instead of plugging in 0, I'm going to plug in 1. Perfect, it comes out to be 5. I could keep doing this. Second, enter, change the 1 to a 2. I really hope that it tells me the answer is 8. The answer is 8. Okay, it looks like it's making this table. Let's go all the way over here to 6. Let's do second, enter. And let's plug in a 6. I hope it spits out 20. It does. This is the correct equation. Okay? So remember, we look at y values for the pattern. We have to know the formula, and then we plug things in. 
It's kind of like the cute stories, but just with a table. All right, let's look at the second one here. Okay, 0, 3. Okay, so this is the starting, or that's the initial. That's the initial value. And now we have to look for patterns. 3 became a 6. So if you only look at the first one, that's not enough to determine a pattern. Some people say, oh, it looks like they're adding 3. But no, they're not here. 6 became a 12. A 12 became a 24. Okay, so what's true for every cell? It looks like they times by 2, times by 2, times by 2. Is that true for the entire thing? Times by 2, yes. Is that true? It has to be true the entire way. Times by 2, okay, I'm noticing multiply by 2, so I'm going to say that this is exponential. Okay, the equation for the exponential, the formula is a and then times b to the x. Okay, and the initial value, the initial value is 3. That's your starting value. And then the b number that they're multiplying by over and over is 2 to the x power. Okay, your initial value is always the 1 in the zero box. The initial value uh, must have x equal zero. So sometimes you have to look elsewhere in the chart, but you have to look for the zero number. Okay, And I could ask you why, and the answer has something to do with putting a zero in over here. If I were to put zero in, y equals 3. If I say 2 to the 0 power, that becomes a 1, and then the answer is 3. Okay, so you have to have 0 as your, your initial x value. All right, I think this is the right equation. I definitely want to check, though. Okay, I kind of just check 0. So let's go ahead and clear this out. I'm going to type 3 times 2 Okay, here's the, the sticky character, to the power of, I'll try zero. Whoops, let's go um, down and then close the parentheses. Okay, if I'm going too fast, pause the video, type with your calculator, get good at it. So if I put zero in, the first cell says three. Perfect. Okay, how do you recall the previous typing? Second, enter, I'm going to change zero to a one. Okay, I hope that the answer 6 spits out. Perfect. Okay, second enter. You could change it to a 2. I hope the answer 12 spits out. Perfect. Let's just check way down here. Let's check 7. Second enter. Let's plug a 7 into the formula. After 7 days, we have perfect 384. Okay. All right, let's do a couple more. Okay. Uh, remember, we always look for the 0 and the x. So this first cell right here, okay, 10 is the initial. That's the starting. And now I have to study to figure out a pattern. 10 to 5. Okay, it went down. The question is, did they subtract to get down, to go less, or did they divide? Right here, is it minus 5 or is it divide by 2? I don't know, let's look again. 5 became 2.5. Okay, so that doesn't look like subtract. This looks like they're chopping it in half. This looks like half. Then half of 5, is that true? Half of 5 is 2.5. Let's see, half. If I do alpha y equals, what's 1 half times 5? five halves? Yep, that's right. Or some people say 0.5 for a half. Yep. And then if I take 1.25 and I times it by 0.5, yep, yep, that's definitely what's happening here. Everything is a half. This is a half and a half and a half. Okay, so since it's a half, half is being divided. This is exponential. And the equation for exponential, y equals a times 
b to the x power. Okay, and what's the initial value? The initial value started off with 10. And then what's the thing they keep multiplying by? In the parentheses here, you could put 0.5 or you could say a half. Don't forget to say the x power. And then it's time to check your equation. So to check, I'm going to type 10. And then I use the alpha y equals the fraction button. And I'll say 1 half to the power of... Uh, I'll start with 0. I'll start with 0. Let's start at the beginning and see if it makes 10. And of course it will, because anything to the 0 power just becomes a 1. Okay, perfect. Second, enter. Let's change the 0 to a 1. Does the answer 5 spit out? Perfect. After I do the first couple, I always like to go to the last one just to check. Second, enter. Let's plug in a 7 and see what we get. 5 sixty-fourths. Let's see, is 5 divided by 64? I want to see what the decimals are. The decimals are 0.78. Oh, there's a typo there. That should say 0 0.07. Yes. Okay. So it worked. It worked. All right. The last one. Remember, the x values are there just to kind of count. It's the y values that we're studying. What happens as the answers spit out? So this is the initial. And let's see what's happening. 50 becomes 35. 35 becomes 20. It's going down. It's going down. 20 becomes 5. Are they dividing? Everybody has to be dividing. No, it doesn't look like they're dividing. Like, I thought maybe here, 20 divided by 4. 35. 35 divided by 4. No, that's not true. It's not dividing. Maybe it's going down because of subtraction. Let's see. What's 50 minus 35? The difference there is 15. Did they go down 15? And did, did they subtract another 15? 20 minus 15. Oh, this looks right. Oh, and then look what happened here. 5 minus 15 takes us to the negatives. Yes, this is it. It's definitely minus 15. Minus 15. Since I'm saying the word minus, that's subtraction. So let's circle linear. For linear, it's y equals mx plus b. Okay, and what's the m? What's the change? minus 15, the subtraction, and the b value, the initial value, is plus 50. All right, let's check our equation to make sure that it works. So negative 15, the first number I'll plug in is 0. I'll plug in 0. Don't forget to say plus 50. So here's y equals mx plus b. The answer is 50. Good. That first one worked. Let's try 1. Second enter. If I plug in a 1, 35. Perfect. I mean, you could check all of them if you want. 2 makes a 20. Perfect. Let's go here to 6. Let's go second enter. Let's plug in a 6 and see if it makes negative 40. Did it work? Yes. This is definitely the correct formula. Okay. All right. Good job.